grand final bounce with umpire Cameron, umpire Russo, and the first surprise is Langford at centre half back on Kernahan. Mew goes to full back and stands on Hunter. And Bradley's in the centre with Rodney Ead standing shoulder to shoulder, which indicates the Hawthorne plan. But at centre half back is Langford, the best full back in the league, maybe with Gary Purdy and Stephen. Here comes Deer. Deer runs into trouble, plays it on. Well played, Bernie Evans. Down he goes, picked up by Dippy Domenico. Reese Jones underneath it, a good leap there by Doritich. Well picked up, English, great tackle, Brereton. Out wide it comes there from Curran. Platten turns and twists, sends his left foot to Dunstall. Dunstall goes over the back and Dill pursues him. Dill well done. Two to one against Dunstall and the ball is battered over. Over the line out of bounds. A very good opening. And well played by the veteran. Presence of mind. Deer up high against Madden. Bradley clearing kick to halfback. Goodman, no, Wallace didn't quite hold it. Langford through like a truck. Now Wallace had time to steady but kick poorly. Bacanara! No mark. Swallowed up by Doritich's lunge for a ball up. 40 metres from Hawthorne's goal, 65 seconds down, no score at the Melbourne Cricket Ground, the 1986 Grand Final. And knocked out by Madden, it goes to Brereton who kicked eight in last year's Grand Final. To the goal square and Dunstall takes a scorcher. Under a lot of pressure from Bruce Dool. But the youngster from Queensland takes the first advantage. Veteran duel playing in his 359th game of league football and his last. All he can do is stand on the mark as surely the first goal of the match will come up. Goal to Dunstall and we've been playing less than two minutes. Blackwell standing beside Wallace. Madden too tall. Down it comes, it's picked up by Loveridge and eventually it's swapped. Left foots it out wide and Glasgow leads. He's well shepherded, got lots of time and fumbles badly. Lots of trouble. Out wide it goes and Motley, his first kick of the match, sends it very long with 55 metres over the top of Dipper. An awkward bounce gives the opportunity there to Bernie Evans. He loses it. Langford hits it out wide. Well done, Abbott. On to Wallace for his second kick. Underneath it down there is Curran. A big thump away by Dean. Richard Loveridge in the centre of the ground. Sends a very poor kick and out comes Harms and takes a beauty. Veteran of three Premiership wins to English. Meldrum out in front of Tuck. Had breathing space. And Tucky might kick himself a little for providing five metres of latitude. Meldrum from the wing. Not a good kick. Kernahan in front. Johnston. Always dangerous in finals. Just outside 50 metres. Magnificent kick. Touch through. Carlton's first score as a minor. And at three and a half minutes, the Hawks one goal, lead Carlton one behind. Chris Mew at full back. With Langford up the ground. And Mew's kick slightly towards the outer side. Kernahan's there and in front of fine mark to Langford. And he's told to play on. Handball a bit ragged, but Wallace goes back to Ede. Ede's kick up the centre wing. Curran in front. And behind play, an incident. And Kernahan being spoken to, a fight on the centre wing. Rhys Jones into it straight away with Ayres. And Rhys Jones gets the book, I think. Yes, reported by umpire Cameron, David Rhys Jones. Four minutes into the game. Unbelievable. Kernahan was the man who was penalised first for something behind the play. And then downfield, it was against Rhys Jones. And there's a very long 15-metre penalty being paid as well. Ayres comes back to take the free kick because he was the man infringed against by the long, lean, angular Reese Jones. Peter Cameron, very verbose, a great talker out in the centre. Tremendous enthusiast is the umpire. And Reese Jones being pulled back another 10 metres. And this will really whet the crowd's appetite. There's the man who they vent their spleen on and Ayres... Tough as they come, sends it downfield. Up goes Brereton. Dowditch hits it down. Diving on it is Dean. Motley's with the ball. And the umpire will bounce. Just one goal in the first five minutes. 
No immediate breakaway, but the Hawks have it. They have the advantage. Platten held, no free. Well done, Ede, to keep it in play. Finally, though, it's out. Melvin has lined up on Dippier Domenico again, incidentally, and Dorotic takes a free. From the back pocket for the Blues. Short of centre wing. Huge pack. Comes down to Johnston, but he leaves it for Alvin. Hurried kick out of the pack. No man's land up towards half forward. McClure dashing onto it. He paddles it on well, but his opposing skipper Michael Tuck is there. And the left footer out of trouble is well directed to the Brownlow medalist. And Dipper gets a huge roar as he marks and plays on. To centre half forward, Bacchanara! Almost a sensation at the back platen. Scragged by English, will get a free inside the 50 metre circle. What bad tackling. He got a second opportunity when he infringed earlier, but English, not good football. And Alvin uh, um, Platten will be about 52 metres out from goal when he kicks it. Deep in the face of goal of Brereton and Dorotic. And it'll go through. Hit the post. Hit the post. A magnificent kick by Platten. Really long. One behind when he so richly deserved a goal. Hawks just looking more attuned to the needs of the moment as Harms goes down the middle and it's well taken by English who atones for that error. Glascott, long, penetrating, Hunter late on the scene, too late. Kernahan well, there's an unguarded goal for which he goes. Not a bad result because the ball was deep in attack for the Blues. But there was no one back there, they were all sucked up the ground some 40 metres. And it could well have bounced through if it was straight. Blues in attack for the boundary throw in. Hunter goes up, taps away from goal. Socket out of there by Bede. Back to half back. David Rees Jones, who's starred in the second semi, reporter already, gets it to Harms, who goes bang with a long one, but misses. Nobody at home in the goal square once again as a long Carlton shot missed. A bad one by Kernahan. Harm's not good either for one who kicks so beautifully. Here's Chris Mew, who's also a splendid kick and kicks it long and wide. Looking in front, the Orma Clues up behind. Russell Green, look out. Out to Dipper Domenico. Alvin on his tail and well done, Alvin. All split decision there. Well, well umpired. Hand pass comes out to Curran. Curran boots of an attack and it's a dual Dunstall battle. Dunstall almost took it. Recovers well. Dorotic loses it. Then regains it cleverly. Then is well tackled. Platten fights for it. He picked up by Brereton. Shoots for goal and misses. Oh, Hawthorne are looking good. And Dermot's looking good. The veteran. Two hours of battle in front of him for the last time. Finds Dean with a beautifully placed kick. Curran, 15 metres. In front of the members, Peter Dean from the half-back flank. Inside to Blackwell, who's against Wallace. Goes for Kernahan. Langford in great spoiling position, but it's Johnston. Into trouble. Langford, well tackled. Hawks there in numbers, though. It's a good sign. Dipper. Well played, and again it's all Hawthorne in the numbers. And Dipper gets a free kick at centre half back. The Hawthorne fans like it, Carlton's don't. Langford makes good position. He's at half back flank. And downed after he got rid of the kick by Kernahan. Umpire Cameron coming in to speak. And he's actually reporting the Hawthorne man for he's using clear. his elbow. Deer reported. So Cameron's reported two players in the opening 10 minutes. And umpire Cameron explaining to Kernahan what it's all about. Free kick to Stephen Kernahan in his first BFL Grand Final, culminating a great first season in Victoria for him. Shocking kick. Wallace should have marked. Meldrum, 50 metres out. Not a bad kick over his shoulder. Bradley in the goal square, but it's through for full points. What a goal by Meldrum. His umpire Peter Cameron, he's reported two already, and we're at the 10 minute mark in the first term. Deer's one who's reported, punched it down towards Ede, picked up by Green, booted out towards the half forward flank, and Buccanara gets an awkward bounce. Ayres thumps it down and out wide, 
leading in the race for the ball is Motley. Motley then can give it across, steadies. Very good looking pass to Glasgow. Glasgow is caught, kicks it downfield, and the free kick is played downfield. And a bit of over umpiring going on at the moment. Yes, definitely. Bad decision, favours Carlton. McClure eventually takes the kick. Dive by Kernahan. And now a throw in. Half forward flank for the Blues, who are lucky to be in attack. It might well have been the, the Hawks could have been deep in attack at this moment, but for some overzealous work by umpire Russo. Scores level, 1-2 apiece. Abbott gets a kick out of the pack, short of the centre. Green out in the middle. Good support by Ayres up from defence. He's got a paddock. Meldrum closing the gap. Poor kick by Gary Ayres. Bouncing for Dermot Brer. Shrugs off Doritich. Curran. 40 metres out. Standing start. Good kick. Centre bounce again. Deer's been reported. Justin Madden high above him. Brilliant to Blackwell. Blackwell tackled by Dipper. Breaks away to Alvin. Alvin shoots for goal. And that was absolutely superb and hit the post. Bad luck, Carlton. One all. That was a spectacular piece of football and deserving a better fate. And both posters have been unlucky. Blackwell's kick was a beauty. And as Tim says, one all the posters. New at full back on Hunter. Goes to the outer wing. Dipper's wing. Madden's the big man. Who dropped the head and didn't look like it. Dipper's fourth kick to half forward. Bacanara from behind. No, it wasn't a mark. Good decision. Motley had first hands. Harms. Ayers. Back towards full forward. Great knock on Dunstall. Open goal, Brereton. Free kick. No, there's not. No, no. Everyone stopped. In fact, I think everybody stopped in astonishment at the speed of Dunstall's work. And Brereton kicks Hawthorne's third and puts them in front by 11 points. 13 and a half minutes gone in the first quarter. Madden wins out of the middle. Blackwell a chance. Bit of a bobble and caught by Green. Ball held to him. Umpire Cameron quick on the scene. Calls for the ball up. Well, the Hawks have the jump 3-2 to 1-3. Blackwell in a bit of trouble there. He's very slow to get up. Some absolutely brilliant ruck work by Justin Madden and equally superb anticipation by number eight, Wayne Blackwell, twice there, and he's really in trouble. I'm not sure that might be winded, but he's really in trouble. I hope only short term. Out it comes. Opportunity there and overrun by Russo. Picked up there by Abbott. Abbott down towards Brereton, who's looking good. Picked up by Curran out to Platten. Platten dodges Motley and dodges him brilliantly. Dodges Dean. Now it goes to Curran, is beautiful. Absolutely superb. Oh, good football to Bacanara. And down by Motley, Russo comes in and says nothing desperate, nothing wrong. And I thought there might have been a 15-metre penalty there, but I think up by Russo was correct. But Gary Bacanara in lovely position. Gee, that was great play by Peter Curran. He handled twice about 60 metres apart. Some beautiful stuff by Platten in between as Bacanara kicks a goal. And the Hawks are in full flight and looking particularly good. 4-2 to 1-3. Halfway through the first quarter and it belongs to the Hawks so far. They're up by three goals. They've made a tremendous start. Can they turn it into something of a match-winning nature? Dorotich, under pressure from two. Dean, well tackled. No, held when not in possession. But the Hawks applying well-applied vigour and pressure and the Blues just succumbing to it at the moment as Dean kicks long to the wing Langford doing well against Kernahan in the air and a throw in now on the outer wing just Hawthorne's attacking side thereof the Blues would have to be worried because an early jump in a grand final has often decided it in the last few years Alvin's kick smothered comes to Ede Onto Dippier Domenico, who bursts through. Great play, Dipper. Onto Ayres. Not far forward of the centre of the ground. Out wide, Bacanara. That was a, another poor kick by Gary Ayres when he had time to do better. Down goes Bacanara from perhaps a raised elbow by Motley. Umpire Cameron once again, very quickly in there. No notebook this time. Well, 
Gary Bacanara missed the last two grand finals. And in 83, when the Hawks won, he lasted only about a minute. Up goes Burton above Madden. Into his back he went, and Madden will take the free kick. And Madden is the best Carlton player up to date. He's done some lovely palming down to Blackwood. In comes the Giant. Sends it down towards centre wing. The good 65-metre one. Lankford's been brilliant against Kernahan. Kernahan almost held it long enough. Swab fighting for it. Rhys Jones dodges and balks. Out to Alvin is spectacular. Alvin down to Hunter is great. Hunter quickly back it goes, and that wasn't good, Ken. And a superb tackle there. And it's all frustrated, and the Hawthorne free kick will go. And I think it's Chris Mew pulling Wayne Johnson, an angry Wayne Johnson, but Chris Mew, that was brilliantly done. 15 metres against him as well. And the Hawks certainly the more settled team. Played in uh, the last three grand finals, and they're showing it. The sports psychologist might, might say that Carlton's arousal level was too high in the early part. The Blues trying too hard. But the Hawks right on top of the situation. And it shows on the scoreboard where they lead by 17 points. Madden a good clean knock, but straight to veteran Eid. Motley and Bacanara. Brereton in hard doing some solid work. Green pushed in the back. No free kick. And a ball up 30 metres from goal. That must have been a very close one. Umpire Cameron was right on it and opted not to give the free. 4-2 to 1-3. 18 and a half minutes, first quarter. Deer wins. Goes goalwards. Chance for Ayres. Well done. Bacanara, a snap. And misses to the right for a behind. Making the margin. Three goals. Well, the difference has been Langford. And at centre-half forward, Brereton, short pass by Duell is always good. Alvin out wide looking for Motley. Motley should beat Loveridge, does. Not, no, he doesn't hold it. Two to one against him. Here comes the bubbling Bertie Dippier Domenico. Off he goes, reaches the 50-metre mark and drives it straight down. Duel up, can't hold it. Off his fingers through for one behind. And I expected that Bruce Duell would have taken that one difficult as it may have been. Misjudged it slightly, and no doubt even he's nervous. Good position from English. Poor kick, though. Meldrum and Tuck. And to throw in. Carlton's attacking side of the wing. And the Blues not doing much attacking at the moment, as Hawthorne are dominating the scene and leading by 19 points. Madden up very high, doing well in the ruck, but this time it goes to Wallace. Dorotich juggles one when it first grab would have been handy. Brereton pulled down when he hadn't gained possession. And Dermot Brereton will take the free kick. That was against English, who's given a couple away. Ede going past. Nobody on him. Reese Jones a bit slow there. Ede goes to the 50-metre line and drives it long. Dunstall at the back of Duel. Well played, Bruce Duel. Keeps on going. Brilliant football by the veteran. Over half back with the kick. Bouncing up almost to the wing. Crash. Through goes Abbott. Gets it to Green. Support by Wallace. They're running in numbers. Out wide to Platten. But uh, the disposal wasn't too good. Out of bounds in the forward pocket. Well played Abbott, but downfield there's going to be a free kick and I think it's Terry Wallace will take it. And Wallace has taken the points in the centre of the ground to date. Robertson's on the ground shadowing him. Out comes Bacanara. Over the top it goes. Straight to Motley. Pad. A bad pass from Terry Wallace. And Motley about centre-half back. Not quite there, however. Here comes Tucker Melvin. Kernahan up above the both of them. Good mark, Stephen. And that's what the Blues will be wanting to see plenty of. Wobbly old kick from Rhys Jones and very well marked by Schwab at half-back. Backing back with fortitude. And it was an important one, too, because the Blues were mounting an attack. He kicks Hawthorne into attack. Dean in front, though, of Curran, who's been a dangerous forward early. And this time, Dean subdues him. Wants to play on, and why not? There was a scuffle behind, I think, that made Cameron... Surely the man with the ball who's taken a mark should have some freedom. Up to half forward with his kick. Kernahan in front. Lankford the spoiler. Comes to Tuck. Just gets the kick away before Meldrum got him. Bacanara. Off the ground, Schwab. 
Ayres on the forward line again, but Dorotic is going to beat him. And nobody to kick to, so he goes for the boundary. 55 metres from goal. Very lucky not to be penalised. I think a very good decision, because he had no other alternative, and I think that was a good decision of up by Cameron's. In comes Justin Madden, over the top, but well played in front by the, by Curran. Out it goes again. Reese Jones not necessary. Russo's tumbled over the line. In front of the member stand, half forward flank. Madden towering over the top of Curran, who's deputising as a ruckman. Out towards Motley. Curran fights him. Motley tackled by two of them. And the umpire indicates he will bounce it. That's umpire Peter Cameron. Very good on drama. Peter Cameron with the ball. He's certainly been conspicuous. One of the best of field so far. Madden's rucking brilliantly, although the Blues not always making the most of it because of uh, Hawthorne's strength in numbers. Reese Jones played it well and eventually got the push in the back. And well done. He was trying to make something of it. He wasn't just hovering over it, waiting for the free. Did everything right. Oh, poor kick. Very awkward one. McClure hasn't been in the action. Robertson, bad fumble. Glasgow. No one to give it to. And umpire Russo to ball it up. Right on the Foster's VFL crest. Madden again in there, but Abbott with a kick. More height than distance. Alvin goes the spoil. Dippier Domenico finds Ayres. That's Ayres' best kick so far in the direction of Dunstall. Punched on, chance for Bacanara. Running out of room, off the ground. Look at this. What a goal! Two to Bacanara. He was punched down. Bucky didn't have time to bend down and pick it up, so he socket. It looked like missing by 20 metres, and round it came. I notice Bradley's in the forward pocket, and also the trainer's been talking to him just a bit. Maybe he's taken a knock, but certainly Wallace has taken the points in the centre, and Madden thumps them into attack again. Here comes the dominator. He'll be picked up, and well played, Wayne Johnston. Too many against him. Langford kicks to Platten, and Platten takes a courageous one as Rhys Jones bumps him late. But what a gallant little player he is, and cleverly out to Ayres, who's getting a bundle of kicks and looking very dangerous. Kick number six from centre wing, and down looking for Dermot. Not a good one. Behind the pack, it's Curran. Motley takes him on and wins it. Bacchanara will tackle him. Out to Madden. You better hurry, big fella. Down comes Deer to take them on. Opportunity for Madden again. Lumbering downfield. Well played, Justin. Out it comes, and Meldrum and Tuck, and Tuck spoils brilliantly. Wallace in trouble. Does it with courage. Leverage out to Ayres. Number seven coming up. Picked up by Russo. Russo high on the air. Underneath it, Madden. And Britain very high. English is beaten by Platten. Platten is tackled high. Motley comes through. Meldrum picks up. Turns onto his left foot. Looks for a hand pass. David Reese jones turns and caught. Back it comes towards McClure. McClure then back and onto his left foot. And loses it. Gets it back. Meldrum. Straight into trouble. Well done, though, to Jock. Oh! He's been penalised, according to umpire Russo, for a high tackle. The man with the ball, that is, has been penalised for the high tackle. And I just uh, can't understand that. Loveridge gives the pass to Deer. Ede. And now the Hawks rebound. Brereton sets himself. Well played, Dorotich, who hasn't been disgraced. Robertson, English. Now Bradley, the runner, with space. McClure inside, but he goes for home and misses everything. And his captain waves his arms in admonishment. That was a wasted opportunity when the Blues can't afford to waste them. That poor old kick that. 5 4 to 1 3. Into Bradley's on. claiming the ball was flat and says that's why he kicked it so badly. And I know it's a little thing, but it might just be a, an indication of Carlton's state of mind. Carlton in attack here. Big pack. Glasgow on all fours. Kernahan at the back. Two number fours there. Russo over the top of him. Umpire Cameron calls for it. And will ball it up. Carlton need to get something out of this. Time running out in the first quarter. They trail 34 to 9. They're in attack. Umpire Cameron. Stage centre again. Big leap there out wide, picked up by the Dominator and shot for goal. 
Off direction again and Carlton cannot kick it straight. Bounces in play. Tumbling over with the ball was Glasgow looking for a free kick and gets it for a push. And Glasgow on a very difficult angle about 20 metres out from goal. And sees position right against the fence. Richard Loveridge on the mark. The angle is the impossible one. But there's no doubt about David's intention. He's not thinking of short passing. Kicks for goal and bad luck. Very difficult. Not far off. One behind. Four goals the margin. 27 and a half minutes gone in the first quarter. And it couldn't have been better for Hawthorne. As Mew, who's lined up at full back, goes for Langford with a precision kick. English well tackled. And Hawthorne's pressure has been an absolute delight in the first quarter. Not one Carlton player has had an easy kick in 27 minutes. Half forward for the Blues. Kernahan and Langford. Reese Jones takes it out of the air. Beautiful play. Onto his skipper McClure. He passes for Hunter. Under the ball a bit. Punched by Mew. Chance for Evans. Using his pace. He's a long way from goal. And there's nobody there for Carlton. Oh, Loveridge bobbles it in the goal square. Just as well there was no one there. The indications are that Loveridge is in back pocket. He's been down there practically the whole of the match. I think he and Glasgow have pitted against each yeah, other. Yeah, and he's gone forward, so Loveridge has followed him down to back pocket. Steadies now. He's not the best of kicks in the world to be kicking out from full back, but Swab gives a perfect lead and Wayne Johnson doesn't follow. Swab can go now. That was bad football by Wayne Johnston. Swab steadies and kicks it down the half forward line looking for Curran. Wayne Harms and Motley are there. Harms has got the speed but gets an unlucky bounce. Curran gets past him. He'll have a shot for goal and he'll just miss it. Dunstall up high and Duel is with him all the way. It's through for one behind. Well, the gods are favouring the Hawks just a little. That time they did with the bounce out to Curran, but still very good football right down the ground without a Carlton player really touching it. Alvin away from his shadow and vice versa, Dipper. Motley is up against Dipper at this moment and beats him. But Dipper has been special in the first quarter. He's used the result of last Monday night to motivate himself and his team. You can see it. Motley kicks poorly. Kernahan, Hunter now. Hasn't started this match well, and he's penalised second time. Not the second time he's been penalised, but he put Johnston under enormous pressure early, and he copped the umpire's rod. Curran, great first quarter, and a very strong mark against Dean. Obviously, it was impossible to film Lagos from everywhere the news was happening. Five goals, five to one five. And we're approaching 30 minutes. Siren due any minute. Brewer, what a mark! A long way out from goal, he'll be back on the edge of the centre square. Short passes out wide to Dunstall, who's given Duel the slip. And Jason Dunstall will be just over the 50 metre line when he kicks for goal, going for number two. And he could do it from there. And beyond 30 minutes, this would be a great bonus. It's been all the Hawks in the first turn. Dunstall's kick is short and left. Brereton again. This time he's behind. Bacanara over his head. Misses this time. He was going for number three, Bucky. He's kicked two goals, too. And a fine player. Been some excellent forwards. Brewer, I think, has done particularly well. Langford been magnificent at centre half back, and Dipper's had a great quarter, too. Wayne Harms, who kicks the ball beautifully, drives it downfield. Terry Wallace will mark. Outmaneuvered his opponent just so easily. Sends it to Bacanara. Up he goes. Well played, Reese Jones. Picked up by Harms and a good tackle. Look out and breaking down as Bernie Evans. Breaking downfield, that is. Gets a long hand pass to Alvin. Alvin's on the half-back line and drives it out where Abbott's in front. McClure beats him. McClure out to Robertson. Robertson downfield and here comes Hunter. And the umpire's whistle is blown for quarter time. And at quarter time, Hawthorne with a handsome lead. 5-6. 36, leading Carlton 1 5, 11. Hawthorne going into the second quarter in the box seat by 25 points, but Bernie Evans swings the Blues into attack. Kernahan, just the one mark so far, and here's a star, Scouts, for Tuck. 
And the veteran captain storms through the centre. And spears the pass towards Dunstall. 50 metres out. He's got a lead. Not really uh, wise action, though. And Blackwell, who's back after being on the bench injured, sweeps it into Glascott. And Carlton out of trouble, but he's got no one to go to. The forward line not moving. English centering well and finding harms. In between half back and the centre. Short pass to Alvin. Could have been a bit dangerous and it might come unstuck yet. Air's a bit crude in there. No free. Schwab caught by English and holding the ball. In fact, it's to the dominator, Wayne Johnston. Wayne Johnston right in the centre of the ground, long trusty left foot, Chris Mew and Hunter come out, Langford's the man who spoils once again, out towards Russo, Russo on the boundary line, bustled over by Evans and it's out of bounds. No one's really looked like scoring. And Carlton not looking like breaking away, Dean for a moment had the ball, but then converged three or four in brown and gold. And the way in which they've done that in the first 35 minutes of the match has been superb. Half forward for the Hawks. Madden wins again, but not necessarily finding a teammate. In fact, hardly ever. Comes up to Green here in the forward pocket. Hooks one back. Dunstall, beautiful strength. Over the shoulder. What a goal! Oh, goal of the match, Jason Dunstall. Undoubtedly the goal of the match. Absolutely brilliant the way he sharked the ball from Bill. That's his second. Russo out of the pack. Green out towards the pocket. And a centering kick, sort of Hawthorne tradition that. And look at the way he just took it away from Duel. And over the shoulder, nothing to shoot at. What a beauty. Deer goes for centre bounce, over the top, Wayne Johnson runs into Wallace, Wallace takes him on, Johnson won't give up, here's Bradley fighting for it too, Alvin pushes it out in front, down he goes, Curran out to Wallace, Wallace is tackled by Bradley, Wallace goes on, picked up by English, cleverly to Wayne Johnston, Johnston down looking for Kernahan, Kenny Hunter up above them, down it comes to the ground, kick off the ground out towards Madden, the free kick is going to go to uh, Bernie Evans, about centre half forward. Hawthorne by 31 points. Evans too far out to score, but Carlton needing something. Hunter! No, once again chopped off by a desperate Hawthorne defence. Langford now. Time to spare. And men to spare too. Curran a long way up the ground. Back to Langford. Wallace from the wing now. Ede. Pressure coming at last. Forcing a poor kick. Brereton back to Ede. They're doing it easily. Bacanara, yes! from 55 metres, long and raking, and through, I think. The Hawks can do no wrong, Bacanara has kicked three, and at the six and a half minute mark of the second term, Hawthorne lead by 37 points, and this is a grand final that none of us expected. Once again, great play by Langford from centre half back to help set it up. Kernahan not with him so far, Wallace out of the centre. Bacanara with Motley. Bacanara gives him the slip again, but running out of room. Oh, well played, Curran. And he kicked out of bounds on the full with his left footer. So Bruce Duell to take the free into play. And Duell kicks it downfield, looking for Justin Madden. Deers with him and punches it away. Motley's got a look at that for desperation by Dipper. Out to Bacanara, who must take a free kick. Bad tackle. And Gary Bacanara having a splendid second quarter. About centre wing position. Kicks it long. Burton and Dorotich are in the van. Up they go. Down it comes and Platten and Motley are going to dispute this one. Motley gets it. Motley steadies it back downfield. Kernahan and Langford. Up goes Bertie. There's Hawthorne players everywhere. Deer out to Dipper. Dipper goes for the run. Steadies and drives it to centre half forward. Over the back. John Dorotich can't hold it. Chance for Russell Green and Courage Russell. Great courage. Took one across the head, I think, and he's down. Oh, no, he feels better now. Oh, he's hurt. 
but that was superb courage by the mob and grandma first physio man or the teacher out to rodney e rodney e dunstall in front again over the back as english english will take it through lost it dill says i'll take it through just about a look of panic about the carlton side tackling is sloppy the manning up is poor and the numbers at the ball are very low as Duel has no one to go to he went for Madden who had no support but made a great smother Ede Alvin has to go the spoil now Bradley virtually touchless Blackwell in front of Wallace Meldrum who's kicked the only goal works it on for McClure the captain and do it ever they need a captain's goal and it almost bounced in the right direction but not quite Carlton sixth behind from seven shots but really it's not that they're missing easy ones the shots just aren't easy here's short pass to Ayres who's just covered the whole ground Blackwell his opponent at the moment up towards center wing big fly by Dean to the front to McClure Hunter at full forward with Mew Glascott open goal at last Carlton get their second almost 10 minutes into the second quarter in the center it is over the back from Deer. out it comes to Kernahan having a tough day against Langford might take a free there no he doesn't to kick down by Abbott over the back and Dorotich has got the opportunity left foot to cleverly out to Reese Jones not doing much out to Dean Dean will swarm the Blues into attack with a long one. Up goes Michael Tuck to help him is Mew, who's been magnificent. Out wide, Reese Jones and Loveridge. Reese Jones never looked like it, and the ball's over the line, out of bounds. Loveridge will take the free kick. That was bad judgment by Reese Jones. And uh, Loveridge, Richard Loveridge now about centre wing position. 15 metres as well. And again, a man running past, unguarded, was Ede. And there's one unguarded in Bacanara. Had 10 metres on his opponent, Motley. And there was plenty of time to man up because there'd been a 15 metre penalty up the ground. He's kicking from beyond 55 metres, but he's a superb kick. And this is a beauty. Brereton's there. Dean the big fist. Finds safety for a throw in. But the Blues with a lot of work to do. 31 points down, 11 minutes into the second quarter. Madden and Brereton. It comes down to the front of the pack and a hurried snap for goal. Green. Russo. Russo, was it? And a behind. Very dangerous tap by Madden, knocking it towards Hawthorne's goal. And it's Bruce Dool who kicks it very long down the centre of the ground, and Dee is doing pretty well. Here's Motley. Motley's is smothered. Out to Bradley. Bradley is caught. Kicks it towards the boundary line and gains nothing for his side as he's under a tackle. And it bounces over the line, out of bounds between centre wing and half forward flank with the Hawks still in attack. And off in the background, the scoreboard showing 7 8 50 to 2 6 18. A massacre, really. But the Blues are brilliant, and if they can settle, you never know, they might just get back into it. Platten. Well cut off by Evans. I get the impression that Carlton have gone out playing second semi final football. And the Hawks have their game tuned to the pressures of a grand final. Neither Ruckman. Schwab at the back. Green went a bit too fast for it. No free kick, but he comes out with it well. Good persistence by Russell Green. State captain last year. On to Weed. Now to Russo. Standing start. Brereton leads. Has to double back, and his opponent, Dorotich, in the end, takes a pretty safe, comfortable mark. What a bad kick it was. He had lots of time with Peter Russo and didn't give Burt the advantage at all. Dorotich out wide looking for Wayne Johnston. Up he goes and missed him spectacularly. Dipper lying on the top, but well played, Johnston. Out wide it comes and an opportunity now for Russo. Awkward bounce gives Alvin the chance. Alvin boots to open territory on the half-forward flank. Out comes Mew. Past Hunter he goes, Langford's always there. In comes McClure and Ken Hunter. Hunter's now got an open goal to shoot for. Michael Tuck goes with the fly to the ball and stops it. Right on the line. And Fritz. that was Ken Hunter's first kick. Fred Swift stuffed that. Right, right on the goal line by the veteran captain. Shades of the 1967 grand final. Kicks long. 
two there for Carlton. Rhys Jones now inside 50 metres. Blazers. And has he set Carlton alight? That's their third. They've kicked the last two. The margin, 26 points. A long way to go. But perhaps now we have a grand final on our hands. Carlton still less than half Hawthorne score, even though they've kicked the last two goals. Deer, perhaps beats Madden this time. Charging through Wallace. Platten. Dorotich on him. OK, how do you rule that? Helwin not in possession. Professional free kick. And John Platten gets a lead from Brereton. This is too easy. Oh, he, he gave an enormous shove to Reese Jones, who was lining up alongside him because Dorotic was up the ground before the ball was delivered, shoved him almost off his feet, and then made the lead. In comes Dermot to shoot for goal from a difficult angle and 50 metres out. It won't make it. Up, go in front, and taken nicely by Motley. Motley is a brilliant mark, but he's had his hands full with Bacchanara. Bacchanara's played a splendid second term, and Peter Motley just been a little loose. Kicks long, out wide. Langford, only one there. He's really been a colossus there at centre half back. Big, strong, a perfect athletic build. Kicks it short. Here comes Dunstall. Over the top he goes. Dool punches it out wide. Alvin's got the chance. Taken away from him by Blackwell. Runs into a fierce tackle. Picked up by Dipper. Turns and twists and shoots for goal. And across the face, Dunstall couldn't hold it. Over the line, out of bounds. Great play by the raging bull then, as he stood his ground. Madden, big height advantage. Dean into trouble, but gets out of it to Motley. And for the first time almost, Carlton establishing something of a breakaway off the last line of defence. And this is what they do so well. But it's breaking down. Russo leaving Evans in his wake. Reese Jones in front of Ayres, who did well. Good support from Wallace to space. Oh, should have been easy for Dorotic. Motley in support. Now Carlton under pressure. Turning advantage into adversity. And eventually a ball up. One fumble and you're gone, aren't you? <laughs> 50 plays 24. Approaching the 17-minute mark in the second quarter. Madden straight back out of bounds. He's got his hands to most of these ball-ups and throw-ins. Big Justin, his brother Simon, won the Norm Smith medal last year for best on the ground in the grand final. Blackwell spinning through the pack. Goes without the ball, though. Brereton from all fours gets a hand pass away. Madden misses Motley. And out of play again. A bit of a scrap. Isn't Platten a goal? Did you see him hurl himself at his opponent? He's the shortest and the lightest on the ground, as this little South Australian dynamo. Well played, Justin Madden. Over the back it goes, but it's straight to Ede now. Ede steadies and centres it. It's a Dunstall duel battle with Alvin up above, and nice interception by English. Should have taken a free kick, I thought. Platten out wide. Bacchanara kicks for goal and puts it through for his fourth. Well, I'm not sure of that, but I thought there was a free to English. I thought he was leg, but I wasn't sure. But Bacchanara converted with absolute precision and skill. So the Hawks get their eighth. And at the 18-minute mark of the second term, Carlton in terrible trouble. And it really is hard to see them getting out of it. Brereton with vigour went at Reese jones Glass got off the ground. There's no purpose about the Blues. And Hawthorne come out of it all with a free kick. To be taken by their big Ruckman Deer. He goes for Platten. Harms. Dean. Poor kick. Should have hit Alvin on the chest and went three metres over or three feet over his head. Dippy at Domenico for Bacchanara, who's kicked four. Reese Jones solidly met, but finds Motley. Goes for Johnston, who's been subdued despite valiant attempts. Centering kick for Blackwell. Mark just paid. Outside 50 metres, though, and I think too far to score. Blackwell got a knock in the first quarter. 
spent the last 10 minutes or so of the first quarter on the bench. To Hunter. And Kenny's got it this time. A break on Mew. And he's had just one kick for the day. He missed the second semi-final. So he hasn't played for a month. And that's not really the perfect build-up for a grand final. Well, three weeks. He, he was injured against the Swans in the qualifying final. Still kicked four goals. And he should have done better with that one from a set shot 40 metres out. Yes, if ever they needed a goal, that was one of the times. And here comes the muscle man, that fullback. His final year architecture student has been absolutely superb, but not a good kick, Langford. And here's a man who can really kick it out of sight. He'll need to to make the distance. Up he goes and sends a very long one. And underneath it, Stephen Kernahan and Hunter. And it's picked up and put through by Langford. An own goal. It certainly was an own goal, but only one point. <laughs> Palms coming a long way up the ground on Russell Green, and uh, I think Carlton could use him up the ground too. McCauley turned the 79 grand final when he was moved to the centre. He takes his 12th kick. He's been a dynamic and uh, fine player for Hawthorne. English well tackled, and that's the story of the day. Wallace, Alvin does well on Dipper, and in fact wins a free kick for being held when not in possession. Parked his body between the big man and the ball. And the big number nine couldn't resist grabbing a part of it and conceding the free. No, he couldn't resist the big number nine. He has been irresistible. A lot of talk about what effect the Brownlow medal would have on Dipper's play. Well, he's just come out huffing and puffing. In front, Kernahan been very disappointing. Johnston. Up by Russo calls for it and will ball it up. 56 plays, 26. 21 minutes into the second quarter. And the Hawks a mile in front. Madden's knock is blocked. Off the ground, Harms. Loveridge, good courage. But the ball spills free. He goes back in again. Well done, Richard Loveridge. And then caught holding the ball. Gee, whiz. No, I agree, Drew. That was really tough. Did all the hard work, did all the courageous play, and I think pretty unfairly penalised. Here's Wayne Blackwell, who took a heavy blow early in the match. Back on the, in the centre on Wallace. Not a sign of Craig Bradley. Out to Hunter. Hunter will mark. In front of Mew. Hunter short. Well played to Glasgow. And Glasgow is on a pretty severe angle. But only about 15 metres from goal. It'll take some skill to thread it through. Number 32. who kicked one wonderful goal from some very splendid intelligent roving. As he whipped the ball off the hands of the pack. He's kicked 1-1. One, one. David Glasgow now. Michael Tuck on the mark. Kicks for goal and kicked it across the face of goal and through for one behind. And the Carlton scoreboard is now 3-9 to Hawthorne 8-8. Eight, eight. They're just on double, 56-27. They're over double. Slightly better quarter for the Blues, though. It's been three goals to two. And vague signs, I think. Carlton settling down, but what a job they face as Mew goes for Tuck and Meldrum beats him. Courtesy, courtesy of a little nudge and plays on and kicks their tenth behind. This was the story of the second semi. Carlton, many chances, but a lot of them squandered. Fine conditions today, not much breeze, not much excuse. And a courageous mark by the lawyer, Richard Loveridge, in the back pocket. Up to half back to Schwab. Comes to Ayres. Hand passes, intercepted by Evans. He shrugs off one or two. Centres over Glasgow's head. And off shins, out of bounds in the forward pocket. Still a chance for the Blues to do something with this. Hawthorne have been the aggressors. There have been some very strong play by Ayres. Dermot Brereton thrown his body around as well. No shirker is Dermot. Out it comes there from Abbott. Downfield, it goes towards centre wing, and the little fella Platten's been an inspiration. Picked up by Meldrum. Meldrum will shoot for goal. He's a good kick for goal always and puts it through for his second. And both of them have been absolutely outstanding. He kicked Carlton's first of the match, and he wouldn't see him any better than it. And that one, too, under a lot of pressure on the left boot, was really something. So three goals each in the second quarter. And to me, that indicates that Carlton are just edging their way back into this grand final. 
Ayers has brilliantly smothered and that's a good sign too. Johnston did the heavy work. Tuck, well tackled, but oh, didn't he do it well? Alvin and Dipper break even. Dorotich with brute force. Breaks away for Carlton and keeps going. Kicks long for Hunter. Well beaten by Mew. Hunter was hesitant in his approach, didn't know whether to come or go and eventually was lost. Loveridge. Just about to go into time on. Loveridge is kicked close to the boundary line at the wing. Beats Peter Schwab out of bounds. Deer and Madden. Madden takes clean possession this time and finds Glasscott. Reese Jones lopes past. Poor kick. Oh, it'll find McClure. On a bad lead by the skipper. And Mark close to the ground. In a hurry to Hunter. Kernahan as well. And hitting the behind post will have a throw in. And again, Langford with a reckless high leap over the top was the spoiler. He's been absolutely magnificent. Bradley, I think, must be on interchange. Can't sight him on the ground at all. And that's a downer for Craig Bradley. Is there, is he, Tim? Down it comes in front. Here's a chance for Glasgow. Russo, well done. Punched away again. And at the 26-minute mark, it's 4-10 to 8-8. Out of bounds, Carlton in attack. Maybe four minutes left in the quarter. A Carlton goal or two could really uh, make a great uh, situation by half-time. Good tackle on English. Meldrum. Oh, well done. Goes for his third. Doesn't quite make it. It was a valiant attempt, and Wallace doing fine defensive work back there. Finds Mew, and this Hawthorne defence has been impeccable. Loveridge from halfback kicks very poorly. Green beautifully to Dippy and Domenico. Well bumped, though, put him off his stride. Bradley can't get the bounce of the ball. Bacchanara now. Dool and Dunstall one out. Well, good tackle, Dunstall, or was it? No, ruled a push in the back, and Dool will take the free kick. Although Dunstall didn't do too much wrong. Thirty-six years of age, three fifty-nine games for Bruce Dool. The kick clears the pack. Motley charging onto this English could set something up for the Blues now. Hunter underneath it, punch away by Mew. Awkward half volley for Russo. Socket off the ground, McClure. Hawks in numbers. Tuck. Look at this, Russo. Wallace caught by Blackwell, his opponent. Dispossesses him, Blackwell. Well done. Underneath it all, Platten. The ball comes clear. And umpire Cameron calls for it and will ball it up. Desperate football. It's a really contest wonderful, now. Wonderful, wonderfully courageous football. Everybody giving it 100%. Platten and Johnson quite magnificent in that exchange. There's Justin Madden having a shove at Deer. Justin Madden's beaten Deer with his six foot ten. McClure gets this down to Glasgow. Free kick has been given to Madden. A little bit of a skirmish was going there just before it, and Greg Deer gave, no, gave away a free. He gave away a very costly one, which resulted in the first Melbourne goal incorrectly. Justin Madden too far out to score. Downfield it goes. Underneath it, McClure and Hunter, but they're spoiled again by a big leap. Over the top it goes and through for one behind. Splendid defence from the Hawks. I wouldn't be surprised if Carlton come out after half-time with that attack revamp. Hunter just not tall enough, I don't think, despite his great marking skills against Mew, who places it beautifully for Langford. And the Blues would have loved to uh, shrug him away from Kernahan, but I'm sure he'll follow him wherever Kernahan goes. But I wouldn't be surprised if Kernahan's at full forward later in the match. Now it's Ede, who swallowed the disappointment of missing last year and has responded like a champion this year. Rhys Jones up spectacularly. McClure, Harms in trouble. Glasgow, what a clever kick, finds Kernahan. A brilliant back foot kick. And Kernahan just outside 50 metres at the 29 minute mark. I'm surprised he hasn't got the confidence to commit himself. He will now because the siren's gone. But he won't make the distance. And at the end of the first half of the grand final, the Hawks in the ascendancy by 21 points, 8-8 to 4-11. So the second half gets underway with umpire Russo bouncing. Backhander by Deer finds Ede in the centre circle. He didn't like the kick. It was way off the side of the boot and very high. And Harms takes a good catch. 
half-back flank for the Blues. 56 players, 35. Harms kick up towards centre wing. That's a poor kick too. On a good day for football, Loveridge at the bottom of the pack. Brereton backs into them, comes to Dorotich. He paddles. Bradley, hand pass intercepted by Ede, and then a flying hack out of the air. Chance for Dunstall. Goal. Dool caught a mile out of position. Full march to E, Drew. That's his 17th possession. And really, here's the man who did it. A daring interception and a kick off the ground. It was brilliantly done. Yes, it was. And his performance has been outstanding. 13 kicks in the first half, but not a more valuable act in this grand final than that. Because the general consensus at halftime is that what happens in the first 10 or 15 minutes of this quarter could well determine who wins the flag. 4-11 to 5-8 to 9-8 as umpire Cameron tosses it up high. Good punch by Madden, intercepted by Russo. Brereton and Dorotich again. Good play, Bacchanara. Dean's his new opponent, incidentally. Bacchanara, four goals in the first half. And he kicks at such enormous distances that he'll give it a bit of a fright this time. And it is a thumping kick. Up goes Dunstall in front. Dorotich punched over the line by Carlton. Out of bounds from Des English. So the 21 points at half time quickly becomes 27. Curran cleverly well covered by Dorotich. And now Carlton at the ball in numbers. Oh, an advantage surely should have been paid. Umpire Cameron showing little foresight as about three Carlton players were running onto a loose ball. But the ball comes back for Dorotich, who looks for Meldrum, who's got height against him. Kernahan in hard. He's a man who really has to lift. No doubt he's giving it his all, but he just has not been able to grab a mark or win many kicks when it hits the ground. Post to centre wing. Madden uncontested, but straight to Ayres. Down to the forward pocket, Bacchanara. Oh, he's beating Dean just as easily as he's beating Motley. Five marks to Gary Bacchanara. He's kicked four goals. Short passes to Brereton. Not a great gain in territory. Maybe about eight metres, that's about all. And about ten metres further in board. Dermot Brereton's kicked one. And there's a fight on behind play in between Brereton and the goal square. Russo and Evans. By Cameron being the policeman again. And eventually Brereton. Just inside the 50 metre. Good kick. Beautiful kick. Got home with plenty to spare for his second goal. One in the first quarter. And one in the third quarter. And Hawthorne, two quick goals after Heights half time is making that lead very impressive. And again, in comes the tall temperate favours Madden to come crashing into it and thumps it out wide. Harms tries to get through. Picked up by Russo. Luckily goes to Curran. On to Weed from yet another possession. Bacchanara again. Didn't hold it. Well sport by Motley back on him. Bacchanara's kick goes Carlton's way. Wayne Johnson props when he should have gone forward. Down goes Alvin. Johnson on top of it as well. And umpire's whistle indicates it'll be a bounce. And Rodney Ede playing a wonderful few moments. In the first five minutes of the third quarter, unmitigated disaster for Carlton. English well smothered. The Hawks just covering the ball in numbers. Alvin with three bearing down. Motley, the same fate. And now Bacchanara. Harms in the way. Read that beautifully. Delivers for Evans. Whose pace should be enough, but it's not. Hawthorne like men inspired. And the biggest man, Deer, was quick enough at foot to catch one of the fastest Evans and force a throw in. The Hawks almost double Carlton score. 68 to 35. English. Goes to Bradley for one of his few kicks. Luckily to Alvin. He bursts away. Good long kick. Half forward. Hunter comes in. To McClure there as well. But he's been superb. Chris Langford. Named at full back. But playing at centre half back. Back towards the centre. On the chest of Russo. The Hawks could really run away with this the way it's looking at the moment. Out wide. Dunstall taps down and follows up. 
Bacanara off the ground, out of bounds, 50 metres from goal. Who oh, loves kicking off the ground as Gary Bacanara. He kicked one freak lucky goal off the ground earlier in the match. Madden and Deere, the contestants again. Madden perfect to Motley. Motley downfield, in front is Abbott. Good spoil against Kernahan. Over the back it goes. Opportunity for Green. Strong play by Glasgow. Picked up there by Ede. English will take the mark on the halfback flank. Time to think about it. Kernahan the target. Still not a clean grab. And the whistle beats Carlton just as Meldrum was coming away with it. Umpire Cameron stopped it. Bit stiff for the Blues. But the umpires have to commit themselves. And umpire Cameron did it just a moment early for Carlton. So approaching the seven minute mark, Hawthorne 68, Carlton 35. Ede. Bounce beating everybody. Desperate for Alvin, but he beat Dippy and Domenico well, and that was superbly played. Nothing there for Carlton. Now Kernahan, who has Abbott as an opponent in this quarter, as Langford's gone back to full back. Platten. And now the boundary umpire into the fray on the wing. Carlton needing a rush of goals. Schwab well played. Oh, it was delightful. The kick to centre half forward Brereton, Doritich. Dippier Domenico with blood streaming from his forehead. He backed himself against Dean and lost. But he gets the free kick for the high tackle. And look at the face of the warrior, Bertie, the Brownlow medalist, as he comes back. He's saying, Is it mine? He's not sure where he is. Was he a bit lucky? He ducked into that one, didn't he? Look at him, all right. He took a solid knock about five minutes ago. But he has the chance to complete a rare double, Brownlow medal and a premiership in the same year. I think Ian Stewart was the last to do that, but 1966. Yeah, yes. There's Bacanara from 52 metres out from goal. There's Doritich and Brereton from behind. Over the back it goes to Dunstall. Well played Motley. Onto the boundary line. Took it over. No, he didn't take it over. Plays on. Fumbles himself into trouble. Down goes Platten on his back. Picked up by Duell. Kicks it straight to Russell Green. An unlucky bounce for Green. Kicked off the ground brilliantly downfield. And lucky Carlton to Bradley. Uh, to Blackwell. Blackwell takes the mark. Blackwell now centre wing. On to Harms. On to Glasgow. Glasgow's got the legs to run. Gets past his opponent and two tackles. And that was beautifully done by Schwab. And they've saved the situation to Loveridge. Goes very wide for Ayres. Who's got 15 metres on Reese Jones. Deliberates and goes for Brereton and hits him. Beautiful delivery. Compare that to Carlton's attempted forward move a moment ago. Poor kick, though. It's deep in attack, however. Throw in. Ball just crossed the line before Bacanara could flick it back. And incidentally, Bradley is off the ground. The man from whom Carlton hoped for so much is sitting on the bench. And he's not injured. He's been dragged. Played every game this year with Carlton. And had a good first season. But a poor grand final. Here. Oh, that's a real mess. The umpire will ball it up on the 50 metre line. Last up, David Glasgott, who played two premierships in 81 and 82 as a wingman, now roving. And Gary Ayres has well done to big Greg Deer, who's fought conspicuously for that one. Up he goes with Madden again. Glasgott fighting for it. Tackle by Ayres. Down they go. Reese Jones is tumbled to the ground by Green. And umpire will indicate another bounce. There's Reese Jones, who hasn't been a dominant figure as yet. Hands on hips. Adam Claude might have got a free, but uh, Carlton win it through Dean. Hunter scouting. He's away from full forward now. New has followed him up the ground. A throw in on the wing. But the ball has spent. Just about all of the 10 minutes and 40 seconds of this quarter in Hawthorne's attacking half of the ground. The Blues have cut no ice as Mackenzie is warming up, as you saw. Meldrum well played, and he's been Carlton's sole motivator. Well tackled. Bede 
Ooh, is felled. Nasty. Relayed free kick. Frustration showing, taken by Loveridge. Dunn still out in front. He's got it. Good call and beautifully left by Bacanara. As McKenzie comes on and is planted up in attack, the Blues want him to pull down a couple of big marks if they can get the ball up there. And McKenzie on for the skipper, Mark McClure off. Duel on Dunstall's mark. Gee, that's a good kick. Oh, what a goal! Four goals to Jason Dunstall, and the Hawks moving further away, and it's making it look pretty one-sided. Deer and Mantle again. Harms in the centre, can't take it. Alvin's tackled when he's with the ball, can't break away from it. Picked up by Evans, intercepted there and driven down by Abbott. Underneath it, Brereton and company. Oh, Motley, good one. Motley at centre half back, over the top of the big fellows. Now kicks it out, widens. Yes, it is a good one. Is it a good one? Dipper takes him on. Alvin goes for it and goes down, recovers like a cat, is well shepherded, and there's a tussle behind the play with Dipper and Duell. The kick is bad and goes straight to Wallace. Just about a call for a relayed one, as you saw in the background, but Wallace kicks to half forward. Brereton up high. Alvin and Dorotich hesitant in their approach. The Blues can do no right, but the reason they can do no right is that the aggressors, the Hawks, have just been too good. They've swamped them with their aggression and their endeavour. Madden beautifully to Evans, and that's a high one, and he must take a free. But half-back for Carlton, who have made no ground at all in the second half. We all felt that the first 15 minutes might determine it, and it's belonged to Hawthorne. Blackwell, no mark. Robertson, Johnston, subdued all day. Madden, yes, good grab. Back to Wayne Johnston. High kick. Meldrum there. Hunter as well. Good punch away. Comes to the front. Evans. Hesitant. Tried to bounce around and came unstuck. Meldrum. Tuck throwing himself at the ball. Look at the Hawks. Russo. And the ball held to him. And that'll be a ball up. In the 14 minutes of this third quarter, the Hawks have kicked three straight goals to nothing. There's no doubt about the pressure and intensity and endeavour of Hawthorne. Every single player seems to be giving that just that little bit extra. Their tackling and endeavour has been magnificent. Kernahan from behind, swab the tough man, can't get away. Platten does. Underneath it, Dean and Curran. Dean almost took a beauty. Curran recovers brilliantly, hits it out wide, and an opportunity for Russell Green. Gets a hand pass and can't find Brereton. Picked up and will get out of trouble there. Left footer goes from Dean downfield. Underneath it, McKenzie. Punched away by Langford. Punched again. Well played, McKenzie. Following on with Schraub. Down they go everywhere. Johnston out wide to McKenzie. McKenzie boots them into attack. Behind is Wallace. Taken cleverly by Abbott. Russo leads and Dippy Domenico's there out with him on half-back flank. Gets an awkward bounce and is buffeted out of it. Nice play, Alvin. Alvin will get a hand pass across to Blackwell. Blackwell caught, but shoots for goal. Meldrum lets it go one behind. Four twelve, a strike rate of 25%. But it just has been totally due to pressure. There has barely been an easy kick earned by Carlton. As Mew goes towards Platt, and Reece Jones has got it. It's no mark. Play on the call. He's hesitant in the Hunter direction. He's been shadowed. Schwab to Loveridge and Ede over the line. Throw in on Carlton's half forward flank. The Blues barely in attack in 15 minutes in this quarter, and they're 39 points down on the board. 38. Johnston, chance for Reese Jones. But look at the swarm. Glascott kicks it two metres. Johnston, look at the swarm again. Up to Hunter. Spore by Mew, but it goes goalwards. Chance for Blackwell. Oh, but Tuck, well played, the veteran skipper. He saw it out. Saw some defence there. Every time a Carlton player looked to have a break, he was swamped. Good lead by Kernahan. Intercepted there by Evans. Kick is smothered as usual. Nice pick up lead playing a magnificent third term and a good game all day. Here come the two of them, and Alvin's going to win this one. Dipper will not give up, and that's the story of Hawthorne. And Alvin doesn't talk much, but this time he's absolutely furious as Tom. But the umpire disregards it. Let's throw in.
16 and a half minutes gone. Carlton goalless in the corner. Harms, the hero of many a final. But not this one, it seems. Langford. Back to Dipper and Alvin. And Alvin wins it, but it's been a fluctuating war. Glasgow. Pressure from Loveridge and Platten, the two Rovers on the ball at once. And they forced him over the line. And the throw-in will take place on the wing. 17 minutes gone in the third quarter. 74 playing 36. Comes down to Harms. No distance in the kick. Tap back for Hawthorne. Centre of the ground, Ayers has to wait for it. But he does it beautifully to Russo. Kick touched off the boot. Play on Bucky. Curran. Ayers kept going. Long and high. Dunstall with Duell. And Dorotic backing into them. At the front, Brereton. And now Dunstall again. Oh, what a good goal! Dunstall's kicked five, three in this quarter. He's done it well, too. They've been good goals. And he's not had his colour low, his colours low at all day against Bruce Dewell. Good long kick by Ayers, who started a lot from the middle of the ground. Two went up against Dunstall, leaving Brereton on his own. It came back to Dunstall as he freed himself from the pack, and across his body, he goals from 30 metres. That was a bad one. Nobody down at all. Nobody stayed down. Two to one. Pausing to come in again is Madden against Deer. They've been against each other at every centre bounce. Madden's won most of them, but they can't get it away from the centre. Out wide it goes, and Swab will take on Alvin. There's Harms behind him. Harms then drives it to Hunter with a very long wide one. It's no good. Too long, too wide. Out of bounds on the full. And Wayne Harms, the long kicker, would have been better to drive it down home. That's a bad kick too, and here's a chance for Hunter again. Hand passes across to McKenzie, he's gathered in. McKenzie plays on again, Rosso gets at him, picked up by Blackwell. Blackwell shoots for goal, not good enough. Another behind, and what a miserable scoreboard the Blues have got, 4-13 to 12-8. The margin, 43 points. Blues with less than half Hawthorne score. Now it really looks to be an impossible task. The odds just too great. Langford a good kick. Kernahan, one of his few. Meldrum and a chance for Carlton. Will kick from 45 metres. The first to kick on the run has kicked two of Carlton's four. And really has presented the one ray of hope virtually all day. Just done it. He gets his third. Didn't look at all confident in his approach. Carlton get their fifth. And the margin, 37 points. That was Carlton's first goal for the quarter. They need plenty more. Harms. Russo, but eventually out of the middle by Deer. Glascott with a bit of space now. The lead by Blackwell. Good pass, Glascott. But Blackwell let him down. Going defensively away from Wallace. Harms took one around the head. Play on, said the umpire. The ball on the ground like a fried egg. Picked up there by Curran. Crash, over he goes and gets a free kick. And why didn't Harms get one earlier? They're virtually playing with 17 men at the moment, Carlton. Wayne Johnson can hardly walk at about the centre-half back, centre-half forward position at the moment. Here comes Curran. Curran sends it down towards centre wing. Dean will be the leaper. Can't hold it. Over the back it goes and out of bounds. That will be thrown in between centre wing and half forward flank with the Hawks in the tail. Plenty of hooting in the air from the outer. Deer wins beautifully to Green. Ayres, and he's had a big edge on Reese Jones. All done so well in the final series thus far. But a bold coaching move, an inventive one. The Hawks have produced a winner. Dunstall and Dool, well played Dool. But look who are covering the ball at ground level. They're all wearing brown and gold. Russo, lovely centering kick at the back current. English robes it well. Alvin and Dipper again. Two hawks there as uh, Deer comes in to help Dipper to Medico. Platten inside 50. 
long and high. Duel, Dunstall, Reese Jones, Curran. Good tackle from Dean. Duel. But nothing there for Carlton. Reese Jones had gone back to help the defence, and his opponent airs as unattended and goes long and has felled after so doing, but I don't think it matters. <laughs> I was just laughing, it brought Gary Ayres to his feet. As soon as the ball went through, he was so delighted, he just jumped straight up. What a That's great it. game that Gary Ayres has played. Magnificent movement around Elijah, because Reese Jones is not quick, and Ayres is the slower player in the Hawthorne side. And Reese Jones caught by Deere, who's done all right. And a scuffle behind play. Black will not too happy. And guess who's in the thick of it? Number nine. The umpire's favourite, the Brown Home Medalist. And umpire Cameron. He was almost as conspicuous on the field as the rollicking, rolling Bertie. On the bounce is a big hungry pack going to contest this one. Over the back from Glasgow. Well taken, Abbott. Abbott boots him into attack again. Nice spoil by Brewer. Look out, Bacanara. Picked up by Glasgow. He then sends it out to open territory. And it's all Hawthorne once again. Swabby can't get it before it slips over the line. An awkward bounce. Bad luck, Peter Swab. And it'll be thrown in with Carlton in attack. 23 and a half minutes gone. Five goals to one in this third quarter. Same as in the, in the in this third quarter, same as in the first. Platten, well done. Gives Ede the chance to run at it. But it crosses the line before he can get there. And the throw in to take place on the wing. Just where the Hawk reserves are warming up. You can just see their heads in the foreground. Kennedy and Morris. We haven't seen them today. And Mark McClure about to come back on for Carlton as Johnston limps off. It comes to airs again. Starting something from the middle of the ground. Doritich, caught by Dippier Domenico. He's not feeling 100%, I'm sure, but just hasn't stopped. Ball out of play, Dipper's gone down. But he's taken one in the head, and he's got one in the leg, and I think the Brownlow medalist is going to come off, giving Russell Morris his first run, and Carlton's former skipper, Wayne Johnston, off for the current one, McClure. That's been super courage. There's Rob Loveridge downfield. Dunstall in front. Almost took a good one. Here comes Bacanara. Out to Russo. Russo left foot snap. It's a gem. Everything's going right for them. As Bacanara came across the face of the pack, I think he just pushed it in the general direction. Went like a bullet to Russo. And Russo's converting left foot. It was a gem. And there's number nine. And Russell Morris coming on for his first run in the grand this grand final. In time on in the third quarter. Hawthorne dominating this term. McClure in the action to try and lift the Blues, who have just never been in it. And quite amazing, the dominance of the Hawks, so well beaten in the second semi by Carlton. But today they have just invaded the MCG like a swarm. And Jeans is down at ground level at the moment, sorting his players on as he uses the interchange bench for the first time all day. The action restarts, and Blackwell for Carlton forced backwards by the wave eventually puts the Blues into attack where Kernahan again can't mark and the Hawks surge forward but in the way is Dean Schwab came off allowing John Kennedy on up to centre half forward good mark Madden came down at full tilt gives one to Hunter but under pressure all the time look at that kick it's about 20 metres from the goal square out of bounds why play on if you're under that sort of pressure? I suppose the answer is that pressure starts to prevent players from thinking clearly. Come the big fellows again. Hunter can't take it with him. Tries hard. Picked up there. Lost by Kernahan. And the opportunity is gone. Chance for Abbott. Runs into McClure. Abbott follows on with great strength and skill. Reese Jones goes tumbling down too. Still regains possession. Lang for the strong man. Chance for McKenzie. Out wide to Glasgow. Beautiful smother that time by Kennedy. Kennedy's down on top of him, Evans. And I think the umpire must decide to bounce it. It Rod was Rod Rod again, was it? It was Rodney, Rodney Lee, Lee, who has Abbott. played a great game. He's oh, heading for his game. fourth premiership. And remember last year he was dropped for the grand final after the preliminary. Yes, he's had five grand finals. 19 kicks to Rodney Eade. 27 minutes gone. Evans, a rare kick and a rare goal for Carlton. They're sixth, and they need about two more in time on to have a semblance of a chance at the last change. The margin, 43 points. The 
That's two goals, three in this quarter to Carlton. But Hawthorne have kicked six goals straight to swamp them. Harms went without it. Russo got it. Not a bad kick either. Bacanara using his body well, but not quite the mark. Dunstall caught quickly that time by Motley. Comes to Platten. Brereton back there. Still in play, and Brereton will go. Hawthorne's day. <laughs> A little bit of fortune once again, it bounced the right way. They're getting the loose ball all the time. Up by Cameron, Wayne Harms underneath. Deer and Deer did it spectacularly. Over the top of Glasgow it goes. Glasgow now chased by Brewer. Steadies and sends it down looking for Hunter. Hunter in front takes the mark, almost at centre wing position. Comes back and kicks it short looking for Justin Madden. Madden goes up and never looked like it. Mackenzie's lost the run of it. Picked up by Abbott. Out to Langford. Langford being magnificent. Kicks it looking for Brereton. Brereton well in front of his opponent. Hand passes out wide. And Deed's got the chance. And Hunter tried to ship it and missed. Missed completely. Picked up by Kennedy. Kennedy weaves around and gets a hand pass to Brereton. Brereton would send them into attack with a good one again. Curran, I thought, might have marked that. Here comes, Wayne, here comes Des English. Des English out wide to Motley, and Motley's kick doesn't do much for them. Kernahan 2-1 to one against him, and it's going to be won by Abbott again. It's the Hawks into attack. Beat everybody. It carried flukily. Ayers, great paddle on for Green. Long flyer. Just offline. As the official attendance is posted on the board, 101,861. Those that are supporting the Hawks are seeing a great performance, and I feel certain at this moment they're going to see a great victory. Well played by Dean. But look, he's looking for players, can't find anybody. Awful looking old kick. Tuck over Meldrum's shoulder. The ball goes out, but Meldrum will take a free kick. He doesn't know it yet. I guess it was a bit belated. And there's the siren, no point in kicking it. Meldrum is on the wing. And it's a 50-point lead to the Hawks with just a quarter remaining in the grand final. They've lost the last two, but have they come back with a vengeance today? Umpire Peter Cameron preparing to bounce for the commencement of the final quarter of the season of this one the grand final. It was 99 points to Hawthorne and 49 to Carlton. Madden and Deer again. Madden wins, picked up there by Wallace, who drives it downfield. Bacchanar is the leaper. Down it comes, a chance for Dorotich. Runs into a Kennedy tackle and took it beautifully. Got it out to Robertson, but he had his arm high, and the free kick is going to Kennedy. Well, John Kennedy, who was of a very deceptive build, he's six foot three and over 90 kilograms. Not looked on as a heavy player, but he strips beautifully. He's about centre half forward, slightly back of it. Drives it down looking for Dunstall. Dunstall, the leaper, doesn't hold what he might have, and it goes off his fingers out of bounds. Question now is not so much who will win, but what will be Hawthorne's margin? And can Carlton salvage some pride out of a very disappointing performance? Robertson finds Reese Jones from half back, goes inside to Alvin who's never stopped trying. Hasn't placed the kick too well. Oh, and it's well taken by Wallace. who's had his detractors at Hawthorne, but he hasn't let himself down today. And neither is this big man, Deer, who's taken on the biggest of all. And he hasn't lowered his colours. And he'll be in the action now at the throw-in on the wing. Results in grand finals are a matter of history. Everybody remembers the margin. So Carlton will be desperate to uh, reduce the margin rather than uh, be beaten by 13 goals or something. Mackenzie. McClure. Langford's been a star. Carlton's forward line has had nothing. Ken Hunter's never looked fit. He missed the second semi. There was some doubt that he would take his place in the side. Maybe they, uh, in retrospect, might uh, think that perhaps they should have played somebody else. Hunter screws this one towards the goal square. And look at Russo. It bounces away from goals again, and it's all Hawthorne. Rodney Ede, burning, starring, and about to play in his fourth premiership. Up towards the wing, Russell Green. 
And that was his 22nd possession for Mead, who's really been magnificent. Been in the centre of the ground for a fair amount of the second half. Tucked very quietly over the top, it goes to Abbott. Abbott then drives it long downfield. Johnny Platten's got the world against him in the person of the tallest man in Madden, and Madden takes him away. Madden then hand passes back to Motley. Motley does nothing at all with his kick as he kicks it under pressure, and it's over the line, out of bounds, and a charity free kick to Hawthorne. Well, that was tragic play. Here's Gary Ayres, who's been an absolute star. Beautiful pass. Bacanara, another star, four goals in the first half. Set it up for the Hawks in attack. Decides to go long after contemplating the short one. He's placed it beautifully. Duel with the immaculate punch away. Forces are behind, but as in every other quarter, this one starting with Hawthorne doing all the attacking. Three minutes have gone and the Blues have been in attack once and not really looked like it. Well, I don't know about Bruce Duell being on the pension. 36 years of age. It's his last game of football today and not the way he'd want to go out in a losing team and conceding five goals to his opponent. Here's David Rees Jones. He always takes, seems to take an hour, and that time the hour was just a little bit too long. Past Hunter it goes. Mew. Well played. All Carlton here and Shane Robertson. Played on when he needn't have. Put Harms under pressure. Back to Robertson. Robertson's kick is a shoddy one, but it goes out wide to Alvin. Maybe it was intended. Alvin then steadies and hand passes high to Glasgow. Glasgow back to Alvin is going to be dangerous. He kicks very hurriedly. Over the top of Abbott it goes. McClure gets there first, will be tackled by Langford. Back to Kernahan who fumbles. What a miserable day Stevens had. Cannot get out of trouble and it will be bounced. But Langford and Mew have been absolutely magnificent. At centre half back and full back, they varied between there and they really have just squashed every. Carlton move and in come the big fellows once again. Well played Kernahan to Blackwell who's on the half forward flank. His kick is appalling. It's out of bounds on the full and incidentally Terry Wallace playing on half back flank and doing that with distinction. Tuck lobs it in front of the members where Reese Jones climbs about a couple of seconds too early and Mew just waits down with his usual coolness and judgment. He too kicks badly and Alvin is in the way for Carlton. On the centre wing. Hunter wobbled a bit in the air that kick, but Hunter took the mark, but he's had to come way back almost to the centre circle. Straight up the middle he goes. McClure's there, out number two to one. Made it easy for Mew. He's just having a picnic. On to Tuck. Out wide to Platten. Well, Platten has been the interstate buy for Hawthorne. Carlton have had four interstaters. And at the moment, you'd rather have one Platten rather than the five Carlton men. Another immaculate performance from Chris Mew. He just moves so beautifully and gets there with such grace. He's a perfect player. Out comes to Motley. Battles for it. Gets his kick under pressure. Mark McClure and Langford. What a magnificent spoil that was too. Charging downfield. Glasgow's going to meet his body. Here comes Melbourne. Threw it back between his legs. Chance for Reed to outmaneuver McClure. McClure did it pretty well. Wallace fights for it. Russo kicks off the ground. Goes downfield to Wallace. Wallace will break away. Cleverly back to Langford. Langford at centre wing steadies and kicks it out wide. And the mark is taken so comfortably by Green. It's very one side. The Kennedys alone and unattended. Quietly out to him. You can play on John. No, he hasn't got time. Evans comes late on the scene. And John Kennedy might. No, he won't get 15 metres. And rightly not. But Kennedy now will shoot for goal from about 52 metres out. And it's been an absolute ball game. The Hawthorne 15 10 to 6 13. And here's a man who deserved to run to the grand final. He almost won the Norm Smith medal in their grand final win of 1983. And he was just pipped by teammate Colin Robertson. Kennedy now shoots for goal, kicks it long and high, and excellent kick. No, nope, missed it. Fifty two points the margin as Duel finds Motley. Hunter well beaten by Mew again. All played Madden, went in with the shoulder dipped. Deer. Abbott pushed in the back and gets a free kick. Advantage invoked. Mew capitalizes. Dunstall. Plenty against him. English. Last line of defense for the Blues. Now normally you might see Carlton set something up from this, but. The little men aren't running into position with their customary zip. Robertson ran well, kicked poorly. Tuck, well done to Russo. 
And now it's Hawthorne rebounding. Platten with three to beat here. And he does it pretty well. And he wins, wins a free kick for being held when not in possession. And he'll take it wide out on the half forward flank. Well, he came over to Melbourne to play in a top side. He picked Hawthorne and he picked the right year to join them. He's going to play in a VFL flag in his first year here. Dunstall. Dual kept him quiet that time and ran him out of room. And now, Bruce. What a shame he's going out like this. John Platten, who comes from a family of ten, and half of South Australia is here to watch him today. Down it comes to Kennedy. Kennedy, a left foot snap for goal. Dunsell running with the flight of the ball, and the ball bounces over the line away from him. Well, they breed pretty prolifically at Hawthorne. Curran comes from a family of twelve. Platten from ten. Here comes John Kennedy to take on the punch down. No, he's not. The two big fellows there. Kennedy down in front. Platten fighting for it desperately as usual. He set an enormous example, example with his courage and tenacity, and he's enjoying every bit of it. Just two behinds kicked in nine minutes at the start of this last quarter. And it's just a gradual fade out. And a grand final which promised so much has delivered plenty for the Hawks. But alas, for the Blues and those impartial, nothing. Loveridge, marked by Duel. And like Lee Matthews last year, Duel going out with a huge disappointment. Dean floats the hand pass for Reese Jones on the halfback flank. Deliberates, kicks pretty well, and well taken by Robertson, who's tried hard since coming on and not been a bad goer. Blackwell finding some space. Still outside half forward. Oh, poor old kick, but finds Hunter. And Hunter still 60 metres out from goal. He wants to go on quickly, nobody to give it to. His left footer covers about 30 metres, that's all. Mew, Evans, and out of play, boundary throw in in the forward pocket. Ten minutes gone in the last quarter, 101 plays, 49. Bernie Evans doing a lot of talking down there, and unfortunately that's about all Bernie's done today. Not a good one for him, he's had a good final series too. Up there goes Abbott, coming through Blackpool. Tackle when not in possession by Mew. Oh. Well, Umpire said he was in possession, he dropped it, and Chris Mew is having a delightful last quarter, a fine match, but this last quarter getting a bundle of kicks out to Platten, Platten running with the flight of it, Harms is there with him, Platten on the ground as usual this time, Harms breaks away from Green, caught by Bacanara, left foots it to McKenzie, and McKenzie is ridden to the ground by Morris. McKenzie right on that 50 metre line, no, it's to... The penalty area down, he gets, he'll come down to about 35 now. Poor play by Morris because he Wasn't would have been kicking from outside 50 and he gave away the 15 right in front of the umpire. And I don't think even at this stage his coach would be too impressed. No, he won't like it. Coaches never like that, no matter what the difference in the scoreboard is. McKenzie kicks for goal. It looks pretty good. The later cheers from disappointed Blues. His Carlton advanced to 7-13 and Hawthorne are 15-11. And we've covered 11 minutes of the final two. Fancy, fancy the... Sorry, go. 46 points the margin, as Motley has the chance. So many chances have been fumbled. Ayers, easy sidestep. Plenty of Carlton players at this ball, though. Foremost is Duel. Well tackled. Now Curran. And Duel has to apply the tackle. Flying shot from Curran, taken by Dorotich. Fancy the first goal taking 12 minutes in this last quarter. Different last term from last year's grand final when Essendon kicked a record last term, 11 goals. This one goes out of bounds. Half-back flank for Carlton on the outer side. People staying till the death, not too many leaving. Crowd of 101,000 for the grand final. Reese Jones just gets the kick away and took a biff. And I think it's going to be a relayed free. The book's out again, I think. Or is it? No. That's an interesting one. He's paying the free kick to Reese Jones from where the kick was taken rather than a relayed free. Where the uh, ball landed. Or maybe he thought the uh, tackle came at the instant of kicking, but it was high rather than late. 
Kernahan. Bronx cheers for Steve Kernahan. He came over from South Australia with a star reputation. Fifth kick only for the game. Morris. Morris downfield and kicks it long towards centre half forward. Bacchanara in front and Alvin's there and also Robertson. Robertson comes down to be met by Dunstall. Green tried to go away from the well played Robertson out to Doritich. Doritich short to Reese Jones is good. Reese Jones on half black Frank gets his usual booing. Then he sent it down towards centre half forward. Can't be held by Madden. Had a pretty miserable time apart from centre bounces. Well played Ede has had a brilliant day. Must take a free kick. Another way. Well, his player is in possession. Well, this possession rule, they've played it all the year. It's a bit passing. Melbourne's got his chance to get... Pay. He's caught. He's caught badly. The umpire says play on that time. Well, I can't follow those last couple. Here's a chance now for Carlton again through Glasgow. Glasgow downfield. Abbott goes up. Mark McClure is there. Strongly met. Breaks away. Kicks for goal, but not good enough. Terry Wallace, a very awkward bounce. Blackwell down. Wallace on top of him. And what's the up line? He's playing it against Blackwell. Well... You can take your pick in the raffle at this stage. Wayne Blackwell says, what are you doing to me? Loveridge takes the hand pass. And in slow motion. Eventually off it comes to Langford. He doesn't place it well, and Robertson, who really has been a, a goer for Carlton since getting his chance, surprisingly wasn't in the 18 after doing so well in the second semi. Beyond McClure for a throw in. And the disappointed captain hangs his head. It's what should have been a moment of glory, he thought, and has become uh, one of tragedy for himself and Carlton. After the spending spree, Carlton will regard second place as a disaster. Mew onto the uh, chest of Madden. He was charging back so quickly to take his kick, it almost looked as though he was going the wrong way. Back to Bradley. Mew punches down to Platten. Great play. On to Ayres. Well, he bobbles it a bit, but there's no Carlton men coming towards him. It didn't matter. Green gets free, and he'll kick a goal. Bradley trying to get to him, shepherded off by Platten. And Green's kick, well, he can hang his head in shame for that one. He had so much time, should have been a goal. Well, the Hawks in the last two years have had 20 goals kicked against them in the final two quarters. It's of the grand finals, and they're finishing off in great glory today. That was terrible football, Tom Alvin. Kicks it over the line out of bounds. Ken Hunter down there struggling for it. Must have touched it before it went over. The throw in. And Bruton, who's disappeared from the game in this last quarter. In comes Madden. Out nicely to Motley. Motley then hooks it back with his left foot. Underneath it, nobody looked. Well, yes, he did. Well done, Morris. Got so quiet and lethargic and people, players going in slow motion. And Morris, who's been most earned to change bench, was the man who marked it very nicely. Good long kick. Dean to Motley to Alvin. And the Blues come out of defence. Uh, rebounded the ball reasonably comfortably in this quarter, but made nothing of it further up the ground. And the skipper, the quiet one, Tucky, in a quarter of an hour will be holding the cup aloft to cap off a great 300 game career. He's named as captain of the year. He'll be a premiership captain in his first year as skipper, taking over from Lee Matthews. Motley bumbles a kick forward. Hunter goes for goal with nobody in the goal square and misses everything out of bounds. And Ken Hunter has managed one behind today after kicking four in the qualifying final. Four goals, that is. Here comes Abbott. Strong play, Melbourne lost the run of it. Steve Kernahan fights for it, he's tackled. Diving on it was Richard Loveridge with great courage. Chris Mew with a splendid backman. Mew and Langford have been the rock of Gibraltar there in the back line and been almost in pass. The Langford's game has been well nigh perfect. Mew, a wonderful comeback. Missed half this season through injury. Well, and here's Mark McClure. Coming through was Kennedy, out to Wallace, the gallant man. Wallace on towards the boundary line. Bradley's with it, well smothered, but he was over the line when he picked up the ball. It will be thrown in again. Half forward Frank. This time, the Blues are in attack. 18 minutes gone in what will be a short last quarter. Only one goal kicked. Madden, a lovely clean knock, but they have not been roved at all today. 
well done off the ground by Loveridge. And a ball up now between centre and Carlton's half forward line. And the best the Blues can hope for is two or three goals just to patch up that scoreboard a little, but they don't look like coming. Well, if Hawthorne have put the handbrake on a bit, Carlton don't look good enough to take advantage and get some easy goals. Here's Ayers. What a great game he's played. That kick across the half-back line. Hunter leads. He'll be caught by Morris. And if it's not one, the other one will get you. But he gets the hand pass away to Blackwell, who goes for goal from 45 metres, and he's missed as well. Carlton have kicked 7-14. That's 21 scoring shots to 27. Huge difference, 102 for 56, and this is too easy. Just casually by Langford out to Tuck. Is it? Have a kick, Terry. Terry wandering around in front of the members, drives it downfield looking for Peter Curran. A big leap there from behind by Peter Dean. English is tackled. Out it goes to Dean, kicks it straight into Kernahan. Kernahan's hand pass was about as bad as you could hand pass over the line. You hand pass out of bounds. Two South Australians in picture there Craig Bradley and Stephen Kernahan. We'll want to forget this. Motley beautifully smothered by Abbott. And umpire Cameron to bounce it. 20 minute mark of the last quarter. And about seven or eight minutes left as Peter Motley's face tells the story of a terrible day for the Blues. One of the most wretched in their history. Harms, Kernahan, Glascott. One of the few times today the Blues set something up with a bit of precision and Hunter caps it off with the mark. And Mew should be brought back a few metres to bring Hunter within 50. McClure and Kernahan the targets and Kernahan's got one. He's plucked one at last. It's been a long, long time in coming for many at Carlton who really hoped and believed that Stephen Kernahan might be the match winner today. He showed a great liking for the big occasion. And a VFL Grand Final is the biggest of them all. But alas for him, for the Blues, it hasn't happened. Now a chance for a late goal. And he delivers. Carlton's eighth, his first. And ironically, as that one went sailing through, Craig Bradley was coming off the ground again to be replaced by Evans. 21 minute mark. Madden wins out of the middle. They have a battle to get it away, Carlton. Terry Wallace in there. What a great finals player he's been. He had some detractors, and the noises grew louder a couple of weeks ago, but by gee, he answered them last week and this week too. Russo. Platten pushed off it by English. Might help Platten into the ball, actually. Oh, he taps it beautifully to Ede. Ede's left foot, a little toe poke into Dunstall, who picked up the half volley beautifully. Wallace, cap it off with a goal, son. He's done it. Oh, just missed. Yes, he deserves a goal after that wonderful final series. Look at him smiling as he comes back into the centre. And a wonderful player is Terry Wallace over the years. A couple of best and fairest as he won at Hawthorne in their last Premiership year, he was best and fairest. So that would have been a free kick to Evans. A very disconsolate Bernie Evans, who won the Sydney Swans best and fairest a few years ago. He kicks down in the Hunter direction, or the Kernahan direction, couldn't take it. Past Kennedy it goes. Hunter's still trying desperately, picks up and centre weak position. Not a soul to kick to, so he hand passes out to Robertson. Robertson puts it down the Meldrum Tuck direction. Bad play, Tucky. Went straight underneath the ball and Meldrum marked it. And the umpire in the person of Cameron, he says, you can take it, Paul Meldrum. He's kicked three. And if he gets another one, it wouldn't be often that somebody in the grand final has kicked half the goals, kicked or almost half. And he's kicked three out of eight. Michael Tuck on the mark. As Meldrum kicks the goal, what a shocker. Over the top it goes, punched back. Nice chance for McKenzie, turns and twists and falls. McClure clever out to Evans. Evans turns, screws it back and kicks as badly as one can kick a football. Into the crowd it goes, never looked like it. And I guess that was symptomatic of Carlton's performance for the day. Remember that goal in the second semi? McClure hand passed the ball to him. He swung the boot at one in mid-air and it went through. Today McClure gave it to him virtually in the same spot on a different ground and went out on the full. Loveridge from fullback. Morris the rover. Curran the fumbler pushed in the back though and takes a free. 
23 minutes have gone in this last quarter. Only two goals have been kicked for the term, both by Carlton. And I think the fact that the Hawks haven't kicked one is no accident, as Morris marks well. But the Hawks have given it everything they've had in the first three quarters, and they've won the match in that time. Russo towards Platten. Dorotich. Platten's covering them all. He is. He beat three. He beat Dorotich, English, and Dool. But finally, Reese Jones wins for the Blues. On to Harms. Evans near the centre. Ducked his head. Eid took it away from him. And Eid will take the free kick. Well played, Rocket Rod. He's played in premierships from 76 to 86. Four in all. Bacanara goes bang. And just misses. So he's kicked all his four goals in the first half. And now his tally is 4-3. It's a spectacular first half in goal kicking by Gary Bacanara. Wonderful season Gary's had. Brule kicks down the centre. Not a good one there. Yeah, may have been directed to Dean. He kicks so immaculately to Bruce Dool. I guess I should give him the credit for it. Here comes Wayne Harms. Back it goes to Glasgow. Glasgow goes the run. He's in the centre of the ground as he drives to the half forward line. Nobody at home except Mr Langford. The big chested man takes it beautifully. Number 28 is putting his name down as a very, very famous fullback. Out quietly to Mew. Mew says the your turn, Mr. Morris. Morris out to centre wing. Bacanara over the top to Wallace is dangerous. Back it goes and intercepted by McClure. Hawthorne playing pretty poorly at this stage. Hunter comes downfield battling with Mew. Hand passes to nowhere in particular. Mew follows on. Bumps Kernahan who takes it well. Kernahan's bump is smothered. Here's a chance for Deer. Deer off the ground. Hunter crawling after it too. Ugly football. Terrible football actually. Alvin might get it away. Dean on top of it. Let us out of it. Umpire bounced. And that's what he's going to do. Gary is. And I think a few people adorned with blue and white streamers are saying, let us out of it, timekeeper. Because it's been a black, black day for the Navy Blues. Proud of their record in premierships or in grand finals. But they've tarnished it today with what really has been a very disappointing performance. And one which will have the club looking at itself as Russo kicks to half forward. Dorotich takes it over the line. The Western Australian hasn't stopped trying. Like 17 others, hasn't had a good day, but has had a go. It's a centre half forward in Perth. I wonder whether a switch might have been uh, handy a bit earlier on. Let's just try something, Robert Balls. Here's Shane Robertson. Past Kernahan, who never looked like getting his hands to that. It comes to the back to Hunter. Now Kernahan's got a paddock in front of him. He can take it right up. Shepherded behind by Blackwell. Kernahan goes for goal and has kicked it. Well, Stephen, you'd like to think that that running goal had swung the match for your team and it swung your fortunes, but the horses well bolted. Greg Deers battled very well all day. Good punch by Madden, a very long one. In comes Rodney Eade again. Well played, Tuck, as he's tackled by Meldrum. And I think the umpire's decision will be to bounce it. It is. 27 minutes up on the clock. Three goals only in the last term, so the siren now just seconds away. And the members rise to cheer the coach, Alan Jeans, as he comes down to the boundary with about a couple of minutes to go. And the Hawks swarm into attack, perhaps for one last goal. Brereton out in front of Dunstall. Has a peep, beats Dool off, steadies, and delivers. For a symbolic final goal for the Hawks, perhaps. Dunstall's sixth grandstand performance. Dipper, the joint Brownlow medalist, knows that he's got a premiership medallion to go with it. Not long to go now. Deer's done a top job. There's the siren. The Hawks have won it. They've made up for the last two years of disappointment. Bertie dashes onto the field. Look out his teammates. He'll just about knock them over. And here's Alan Jeans and the skippers, Tuck and McClure, shake hands. Triumph for Michael Tuck, the captain of the year, in his first year as captain of Hawthorne. He swung things around. They played four successive grand finals. They won in 83, lost the next two, and they've won again in 86. And first time for 20 years that a Brownlow medalist has played in a premiership team.